The NASCAR Camp World Truck Series has a circuit in Americas, and what looks like it's going to be an easy Kyle Busch win turns out to be a very chaotic victory, and we see the young Zane Smith steal the victory here at Circuit of the Americas. What's going on, guys? It's Daniel, and welcome back to our video. I just got done watching NASCAR Camp World Truck Series race from Coda, the XFL 225. Got a lot of things to talk about this race. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. So, before the green flag drop into this race, a ton of trucks would have to go to the rear of the field, including pole center Sheldon Creed, John Hunter Nemechek, Chris Wright, Kaz Grawl, Matt Crafton, Logan Bearden, Lawless Allen, Jack Wood, Blaine Perkins, Tate Fogelman, Brad Perez, Will Rogers, Matt Jaskal, and Matt Benedetto would all go to the rear as well. So, a ton of drivers have to go to the rear. And as they were actually starting before the green flag drop, we saw Ty Majeski basically had the crew under pit rows. He had some issues on Ty Majeski's truck. Very, very unfortunate. Because this Alex one actually started the race with the lead with Zane Smith on the outside, and Alex Bowman was able to get the race lead. Going into turn number 11, we would see some contact between Austin Lane Self and Taylor Gray. They had some major, major contact. Austin Lane Self would get a ton of damage, but was able to keep going, and no cautions would come out. And then eventually we saw a battle for the end in the second lap of the race between Alex Bowman and Kyle Busch, and Kyle Busch was able to get the race lead. Meanwhile, Sheldon Creed was already up to nine flips after starting at the rear. He actually went to the pit road and went to the garage with an unfortunate mechanical failure and unfortunately finished last in this race. Then we saw Zane Smith go wide on lap number three. Basically went way wide into the corner, and Park Klugman got around him. And then we see some more issues happen. Haley Deegan, she would actually get penalized for a pass through for cutting the course when she was actually having a pretty strong run. She needed a good run coming in this race. She would get a penalty, was able to keep going on. And then we would start seeing the pit stops happen with the stage cautions because the stage is happening. Stuff. Teams can break it up with road courses. Most of the leaders have come down for run on lap nine, including Kyle Busch, Alex Bowman, Carson Hosbar, and John Hunter Nemechek. And also then the next lap, we would see Parker Kligerman also come down pit road as well with Zane Smith and Stuart Freeze and for this Sage win, but there would be not enough for Stuart Friesen in the cash and Zane Smith at the end, and Zane Smith will win Sage 1 here at Circuit of the Americas. Then all the trucks that did not pit under the first caution, basically first stage, they would come down for running Kyle Busch actually took the race lead. On the restart, Kyle Busch leading from the inside and Park Kligerman from the outside. And Park Kligerman tried to get around Kyle Busch from the race lead, but Kyle Busch kept the race lead. And then on that same lap, we see Dean Thompson have some problems in turn number eight, bringing out the caution in this race. Then we go back racing in lap 18 with battle between Kyle Busch and Parker Kligerman. We actually see some contact between Tanner Gray got spun from some position. Also that same lap, we saw Kaz Grawl spin out. And then we basically see the next caution this race come out a couple laps later for Matt Crafton in getting into Chase Purdy. Matt, both trucks had spun into the gravel trap. Chase Purdy basically made a really uncalled for move going into turn number, like, I think 18 or 19, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And basically they crashed. Well, good for both of them. They are able to continue on. And Matt Crafton was not happy, rightfully so. That was a little uncalled for for that. And then we basically see some guys come down the road under that caution with John Remichek, Zane Smith, Ben Rhodes, Derek Krause all came down the road and took four tires. And Tyler Ankrum also got a penalty for taking the equipment interface on the pit stop. So on the restart, John Remichek lead from the inside and Zane Smith on the outside and Zane Smith was able to base some contact battling for the lead actually into turn number 14. We saw John Hunter, he had the race lead. And then Zane Smith Battling for the lead, gets into the back of John Hunter Nemechek. Battling for the lead, but John Hunter was able to continue on. Meanwhile, we see some retaliation between Matt Crafton and Chase Purdy going into turn number 13. Is able to continue going in the race. Then we see John Hunter come down the road, and he basically we get a pit, get a pit row penalty for basically an uncontrolled tire. Basically, the race would continue on, and actually because of this, Zane was able to pull away and win stage two here at Circuit of the Americas. And then we see all the trucks that did not pin under those cautions. They would come down bro, meaning Kyle Busch would take the race lead. So on the restart in stage number three, we would see Kyle Busch lead from the inside and Chandler Smith on the outside. And we saw Kyle Busch able to get the race lead. Meanwhile, a lot of chaos had happened behind them between Jack Wood and Chris Wright, where they would spin into turn number eight on the restart. And unfortunately, Haley Deegan also got a lot of damage to the right front suspension. Because of this, this would bring out the caution of this race. Very fortunate for Haley Deegan. I'll tell you, she has not had a good run this year. She's actually doing really, really well. She was running, I think, around 15th or 16th at that point. And some drivers who are inexperienced who should not be in a series, in my opinion, basically can force to cost her an opportunity to have a good run. It's such a shame because she needs a good run, and that's the unfortunate case right there of what happened. 
And then we go back racing with 10 and like 10 laps to go with Kyle Busch leading from the inside and Chandler Smith on the outside. And we saw Kyle Busch get a great restart as Chandler Smith lost a ton of spots. Meanwhile, Carson Hosovar got a great restart and jumped up to second. And then because, and then basically, back to Benedetto, who's actually starting to charge his way up to the front, he unfortunately had fuel pumper, mechanical problems, or driveline issues, and would bring out the caution in this race. Meanwhile, before the caution came out, Zay Smith and Christian Eckes, they both had some contact, and Christian Eckes spun out, and Chris Wright basically also spun out, basically in turn, turn one, trying to avoid it, and that would also help bring out the caution in this race. And then we go back racing with around eight laps to go with Kyle Busch leading from the inside and Carson Osovar on the outside with Kyle Busch able to keep the race lead as Park Clearman got under Chandler Smith for fourth and turn 11, pushed Chandler Smith a little bit wide, but was able to continue going on. And we saw a battle between Stuart Friesen and Kyle Busch, but Kyle Busch is able to pull away. Then a few laps later, we see Derek Cross get spun into turn number one by Tyler Anka, but able to continue on. And then with four laps to go in the race, we would see the next cautionous race come out where Matt Jasko, who stalled off in turn number three, also in that time, Christian Eggers got spawned by Carson Hosbar, bringing out the caution of this race. Then we go into overtime in this race, where Kyle Busch on the inside and Alex Bowman on the outside, and we saw a lot of chaos, and basically Chris Wright got spun on the restart, and then we saw a couple guys wreck in turn number three, Chase Purdy spun out, and then the caution would come out right here for a ton of basically parts and pieces coming onto the track, with Kaz Grala and Colby Howard basically spinning at each other, bringing out the caution for the final time in this race. And then we get into the second overtime, and this is where all hell breaks loose. On the restart, Kyle Busch gets an amazing restart, and Alex Bowman gets a little bit of a slow start on the restart, and Stuart Friesen is able to get around Kyle, around Alex Bowman for the race lead. They're battling back and forth for the lead a little, basically battling back and forth for the top three, and Alex Bowman decides to charge and go into turn number 10, going into that turn to head up the straightaway, and Alex Bowman and all of them go three wide, and have contact with each other, and Zay Smith comes off the corner and steals the lead away from the top three. Yes, Zane Smith, who was four at the time, passed all three of them. They all have contact with each other. They all send it into each other. A lot of chaos on that corner and brings out, basically keeps the race going, but that would affect them in the race. But they would all end up losing the lead with Zane Smith taking the race lead. And then John Hunter Nemechek, he comes out of nowhere, and he jumps up to second place. And then we see Alex Bowman on the, as they got to the last lap, Zane Smith had a pretty big lead over John Hunter Nemechek. Meanwhile, Alex Bowman basically got, it was third of the time, basically had damage to the right front, and the tire would go down. And Parker Kligman also would have damage from that and ran out of gas as well on the last lap of this race. And because of this, Zane Smith would come off the corner and basically steal the win away from Kyle Busch and the rest of the field and picks up his second victory of the season. Zane Smith definitely got helped by a lot of those cautions and the fresh tires in this race. We got to capitalize on the opportunities. <laughs> and what happened there, he capitalized on a really great opportunity right there and was able to win. So huge congratulations to Zane Smith on picking up his second victory of the season. Huge congratulations to him. This is the second win of the year. First time the Frommer has won multiple races. And I believe this is only the second year that he's had multiple wins in a season. And this season is starting much better than last year. And I think Zane Smith is definitely a championship contender. So... Before we jump into the race results, I want to talk about the ending of that race and what happened between Kyle Busch, Alex Bowman, and Stuart Friesen. In my opinion, it was just a right racing deal situation. It was Alex Bowman's fault. He shouldn't have sent it as far as he did into that corner. And Stuart Friesen also got into Kyle Busch right there. It's just hard racing for the win, but Alex Bowman unfortunately overdrove the corner. And they took each other out of contention for the victory. So that took them out of there, and that's why Zane Smith was able to capitalize on it and get the, the victory. So now, let's jump into results and give you my score this race and get out of here, because we got an Xfinity Series race that's coming up here very, very shortly. So Zane Smith picks up the victory in today's race. John Hunter Nemechek finished the second. Good run for John Hunter at the end of the day. He actually had multiple problems in this race, but bounced back to a second-place finish. He needed this run, considering how bad his season has really gone for him. Gets second-place finish. Good run for him. Kyle Busch looked like he had the best truck most of the day. He comes across the line in third. Again, I thought Kyle Busch had this race one in the bag, to be honest. I thought he was going to win it, but he gets a third place finish. Good run for him at the end of the day. Top five for Kyle Busch. But, and unfortunately, he breaks his streak of finishing in the top two. I think he had an eight or nine race streak where he finished in the top two. So he finished the third in today's race. Ben Rose finishes fourth. Very solid run for Ben Rose. Ran around the 10th to 12th place most of the day, but bounced back to top five run. Good run for him. Chandler Smith finished his fifth, a good solid top five run. I think he's definitely a championship threat this year. He's been up front a lot this year. Gets a fifth place finish, good run for him at the end of the day. Christian Eggers finishes sixth, very solid top ten run for him. He finishes the sixth. 
Tyler Anker finishes seventh. I thought Anker was going to be a little more of a contender than he was today, but he gets a top 10 run. Anker, I think, has got an underdog to make the playoffs this year. Good run for him. He finishes in seventh. Carson Osbar finishes eighth. I think Carson had a shot to win this race, but unfortunately had bad restarts. that really cost him an opportunity there. But still, an eighth place run is saw run regardless for Carson Osbar. Stuart Friesen finishes ninth. Stuart Friesen, I thought, was going to contend for the victory, but that contact, unfortunately, dropped into ninth. But still gets a top 10 finish. Probably, though, he's not happy right now with Kyle Busch and Alex Bowman. Grant Enfinger finishes 10th. Man, Grant Enfinger, I thought Grant was going to be a championship threat this year. And he's done nothing this year. Grant's a great driver, but man, oh man, this year has been a bad year for Grant Enfinger. So to get a top 10 and come out of the week with a good run is good to see. But still, they've got a lot of work to do on that 23 truck if they're going to want to be a championship threat. And they are not showing that currently at the moment. Wallace Allen gets a top 15 and 11. He spun out earlier in the race and still bounced back to top 15 finish. How about that for Lawless Allen? Derek Krause finishes 12th, saw a top 15 run from Derek Krause. Matt Crowder finishes 13th after his issues today. He gets 13th. Kaz Grawl, after his problems, he finishes in 14th, saw a top 15 run for him. Chris Wright finishes 15th. Again, good run for him, even though he had issues. Chase Brady finishes 16th. Tanner Gray, and fortunate for Tanner Gray, Tanner Gray actually had a good truck and could have contended for this victory, but he got spun out late. But he finishes in 17th. Tate Fogelman finishes in 18th. Parker Klegerman, man, Parker Klegerman should have finished higher than he did. Parker had a top two or top three truck most of the day. He should be in a full-time truck right now, but gets a 19th place finish regardless. He should be in a better truck than he is, but he finishes in 19th. And Brad Perez finishes in 20th. How about that for Brad Perez? Kept his nose clean all day, didn't run really any trouble, and gets a top 20 finish in his first truck series start. You got to do what you got to do. He made it into the show and gets a top 20 finish. Hopefully, Brad gets more opportunities here in that 40, tree, 40 truck. The garage is rooting for you, man. And congratulations on a top 20 run, my guy. Will Rogers finishes 21st. Saw a run for both of the Ram trucks, finishing in the top 21. Timmy Hill, after his problems, finishes 22nd. Tough break for him. He had a better truck than 22nd. He had basically the hood up on pit road before they think they came to the second overtime caution. A shame for him, but he finishes 22nd. Spencer Boyd finishes 23rd. Colby Howard, after his issues, finishes in 24th. Alex Bowen, after having his problems, one of the best trucks in this race, finishes in 25th. Taylor Gray finishes 26th. He had a good truck early, but that issue with Austin Wayne Self happened. Austin himself finished 27th. Austin himself was a wrecking ball at the end of that race. He was basically wrecking into people and acting like an idiot out there. I don't really know why he's out there, to be honest with you. Shouldn't be in the series anymore. He's been wrecking like an idiot. Logan Beard finishes in 28th. Dean Thompson finishes 29th. Ty Majeski, after electrical problems, never really mentioned Ty Majeski much in the race. Fox did, but he finishes in 30th. Matty D, after his electrical and issues and driveline problems, finishes 31st. Tough break for him. He was probably going to finish around top 10 or top 15 range. Shame for Matty D. He had a good truck today. It's a shame. Jack Wood finishes 32nd. Why he's in that truck, I really don't know. Matt Jasko finishes at 33rd. 34 for Haley Deegan after her problems. 35th for Blaine Perkins. And Sheldon Creek finishes last and in 36th place. So now I'm going to give you my score of the race and talk about the race overall as a whole. Overall, the racing itself, when it were long green flag runs, it really wasn't the most exciting. You did have really good battles for the lead and some good points of this race for sure as well. It wasn't one of the worst truck series races I've ever seen, but it was a very, very chaotic race to say at the least. And I think some of your scores are probably going to be much more different than mine. I'm going to give today's truck series race a 7 out of 10. Just because it got a little bit over crazy. The finish was actually really, really good in my opinion. It was really good the last couple laps. But there were points the race were kind of dragged out. I do also think that there should not be as many cautions as they were. I think they need to start investing in local gallows. I think that's one thing that needs to be happening toward the future. But other than that, a 7 out of 10 is my score for the Truck Series race. It was an all right race in my opinion. Not perfect, but it was an all right race in my honest opinion. So, anyway, that's today's race. We're from the Truck Series race at Circuit of the Americas. I want to thank guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, notifications on to be notified when a video does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And support me on page as well. Let's schedule below over that. And comment all your thoughts on today's race. Let me know your score below. Let me know your thoughts below. And congratulate Zane Smith on picking up the victory. Let me know in the comments below. We've got the Xfinity Series races coming up here really, really soon. And you will see a race view from that on the channel right after that race concludes. I'll see you guys there for that. Take care, everybody.